Greetings, everyone. This is Rock and Roll Spot Catcher with another song of Mutant Monday. And this week we'll be covering 10 Deaths of Wolverine, number 3. So, <clears throat> the last issue of 10 Deaths, um, more of a tag was on the run. Um, and the Omega Wolverine, Phalanx possessed, Phalanx, uh, possess, uh Bonded Wolverine, version of Wolverine, I should say, showed up after Mystique came after her. Uh, at, showed, showed up at the motel Moyer was staying at after Mystique came after her and triggered a booby trap, blowing the, the motel up. Um, and uh, yeah, Mega Wolverine fought some fought the cops and stole a cop car. On Krakoa, we start off on Krakoa. Um, Wolverine, Laura, and Scout are walking around the island. Um, it, 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 it's giving Scout an opportunity to hang out with her sister for the first time in a while. So especially since Laura is now part of the X-Men in New York. But Xavier uh, mentally contacts them, leading to... Uh, The uh, the vision of uh, Xavier being attacked by Laura, explaining that she, he has uh, something he has got he needs her help, uh, showing her images of uh, of the Omega Wolverine, and so and of course Laura asks the the best question why not ask Logan? Of course Logan then disposed, and he and uh, Xavier figures that the bet who better to to send in pursuit. To, of a Wolverine than a Wolverine. The scout pops down and says, I think you meant to say Wolverines. So, um, in San Francisco at the uh, Epiphany uh, campus, at the Epiphany campus, we're about to have their big launch, and uh, Arnold checking. uh, Shackledar, um is this told by Dolores Ramirez of the CIA's X desk that they need to cancel the event and uh, get him to safety. But yeah, he, he's not listening. A Mega Wolverine shows up and goes after, waits for the uh, CIA agents outside. But yeah, um, the attack goes down and uh, turns out Moira. Leaked information to the CIA. The idea being that maybe the CIA and Omega Wolverine would take each other out. Then we got a uh, a memo from uh, Ramir from Dolores on the X desk about about Moira. Status presumed dead. Future of Krakoa actively seeking. Surveillance logbook. First contact McCarthy Medical Institute, New York. Second law last contact Woodland. Center Mall, New Jersey. Facial recognition software activated. Social media feeds, cell phone cameras, government private security cameras, flag for priority, recent activity, video, video capture, positive identification. Mountain View, California, Epiphany Headquarters, uh, Chakalar Theater. Comments. She's walking up to a security camera, pulling back, back her hood and staring into it for a good minute. This awareness indicates she knows she is being watched and, for, and or pursued. But who does she want to want to know? The mutants or us? She is no doubt buying some, laying some sort of bait slash trap. So we, so all activated units should be on high alert. Mission: capture and detain for interrogation. But uh, Chakalar manages to get away from from the uh, campus, and uh, Moore is waiting for him at his uh, retreat north of San Francisco. And she tells them everything. And explains that they're going to save the world from, from the mutants. The Omega Wolverine is waiting through the CIA agents um, when uh, the Wolverines attack him. 
starting with Laura, then Gabby, then Dakin. Apparently, the uh, theory, working theory, was that uh, the Omega Wolverine was someone pretending to be Wolverine. But uh, and Dakin was convinced to join the, to join the, in the whole thing because Laura and Gabby thought it would be uh, therapeutic. Hunt down and beat the shit out of some wannabe version of the old man. But Dakin notices the way that uh, the Omega Wolverine fights, speaks, smells. It's not someone pretending. It is the old man. But, uh, Wolverine sheathes his claws, explains that none of them make it. And he knows how each of them dies. But he's injured. Or maybe sick. But, uh, the first thing that, uh, Chakalar does for Moira is make her a new uh, prosthetic. But it looks like the plan is to uh, put her mind in, the, in, an and in a robot body. So she can get her 11th life. We then fast forward to year 1000 after Wolverine has killed uh, Moira in the future. Moira comes to him. And uh, shoots him a few times, including getting up close and shooting him through his torso. And he's explaining the story to uh, Laura, Gabby, and Dakin. He explains that uh, that was the end of one story, but the beginning of another. And that is where our issue ends. Um, I've been saying this for the last, week or so, last couple of weeks or so, that I'm honestly enjoying 10 deaths more than I am 10 lives. Um, it feels more important, you know? Because there's no way they're going to... that uh, they're going to kill off Xavier through, and through time travel. That, that, no. We all know that 10 lives is going to... is going to result in a successful story... in a success. But ten deaths, that's where things are interesting. We're actually picking up on plot points from Inferno. Like what they do about Moira. Also, it was this issue was really nice seeing uh, Laura, Gabby, and Dakin working together. There hasn't been a, we haven't gotten to see the, the, a lot of the, of the three of them together um, since House of X. And so it was nice to see them out together on a mission. But uh, anyway, that is going to do it for now. As always, feel free to like, share, and subscribe. Links to my Facebook, Twitter, Patreon, and PayPal can be found in the description box down below. This is Rock and Roll Spock signing off saying live long and rock hard.